Well, hello out there in YouTube land. I got uh, another video for you. Damn the luck, huh? <laughs> so, you can see from the description what it is. So, let me get everything set up and I'll get right back to you and we'll check it out. Hello out there subscribers and friends. This is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Well, thanks for sticking around. I got my little starter down there and got the magic hands going here. So uh, the hands are kind of dirty. I've <laughs> been playing around in grout all day today and I got it all over me and it dried. And so now I just got to kind of wait till it wears off. So I can wash all I want. So anyway, I just got in from work a little bit ago and I thought I'd make this because I was talking the other day to a friend of mine on YouTube and I got to thinking well I wonder if these you know it'd be nice to find out if these work before I get out there camping and I've got an extra one here so I thought I'd go ahead and fire it up and you guys get to see how they work and I get to make sure they work so let's start off with I just usually take them and I'll take my knife and kind of pick at the center of them here and it gets fibers up and I'll take it do that a little bit get as many fibers up as I can get a big get a big pile of them coming up here okay so that's looking pretty good so let's see if I'm even in frame there now I am you can see what I did with the knife I just took and picked at it a little bit and got the fibers up so now I'll take it stick it down here and take my trusty fire steel to it and we'll see if this little puppy lights and I'll know whether the other ones light so hang on there and there we go first shot and there is basically no wind buffer around where I'm working right now you'll see the flame move around a little bit but there's not a lot of wind out today so that's a good thing too but yeah you see first strike and there it is so I'm happy they should work they're real easy to make and once that thing really gets going it tends to burn real good like i say it'll burn for about 10 minutes so i'm gonna let it go for a bit here and i'll probably speed the video up because this is like watching paint dry and you get to see how it goes Now what in the world am I going to do with this? Watch it in a few minutes and you'll see. there it is it's going pretty good not too bad it'll do better as it uh, even burns longer so like I said 10 minutes y'all don't need to sit and watch all that I'm gonna go ahead and snuff it out here in a bit and I'll get right back with you and I'm gonna show you how my dust actually works and fire some of it up so hang in there all right thanks for sticking around and 
as you see, I got some Maya dust down there. And this is actual stuff where I, I scraped it and everything else. Like I say, on my fire starters, I use just basically chips. I kind of call it Maya dust, but it's not really. So I've got some real stuff there. I've got a, another tin here that is made out of a little snuff can. Uh, another friend of mine on YouTube sent it to me. Let me pop it open. It's hard to get open because it's a good tight seal. And I got a bunch in here. I, I keep different ones in different kits. And this one's got a little seal around here so it keeps it kind of watertight. Not perfect, but that's enough for a couple of good fire starts. And you'll see how this thing does here in just a second. Let me get my fire steel all situated. And here we go. So hang in there. There we go. Now you watch how fast that burns up. So it'll burn up pretty quick. That tile I got it on is kind of a, a fireproof tile, so that's a good thing. That'd be enough to kind of get your fire going a little bit. And it's just right now just burnt the top of it, so there's more underneath there for it to catch and go. But that's why I like my fire starters a little more than I do this. See, there's still some under under there, so it, it'll burn for a pretty good while. Nothing else to get your coals going too, as you can see, is it gets some nice coals. So it's good for starting a fire sometimes. And very rarely do I use it though. Most of the time I use uh, my little fire starters. I have them or other ways of starting fire. I got <laughs> several different ways, <laughs> lighters, you know, what all. So anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd share this with everybody. So there it went out. It's probably still quite a bit more underneath it. It's the top of it went out. Probably because it doesn't have good airflow under it. Yeah, there's more underneath there. I bet if I tried, I could blow that back into ignition. There we go, finally. Yeah, if I had my little fire straw, it would work better. Basically, it's like an antenna that has got a hole at both ends. You expand it out and sit there and blow through one end of it. That way you don't have to get right down in the fire. So anyway, all right, that's enough of y'all having to deal with me today. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Until then, y'all take care. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.